In the new 1.20 Minecraft update, there is a new biome, the Cherry Blossom biome, and it is beautiful, but it feels empty. So the question is, what if Mojang decided to add more things to it? One thing that exists in some biomes are villages that give those biomes literally life and annoying villager noises. Let's, let's not forget about those. As you probably know, there are five different types of villages. We have the Desert Village, the Savannah Village, the Taiga Village, the Snowy Tundra Village, and the most famous of them all, the Plains Village. If you notice, all of them have different types of structures, depending on the biome they are in. For example, the Weapon Smith House looks like this in the Plains Village, and it looks like this in the Desert Village. But the question is, what if we just yoink a village? We just smash it in the new Cherry Blossom biome, and see what it would look like. I want the village to look as mojangy as possible, like I need to convince you that it was randomly generated by the game instead of being builded by me. And that's why some of the buildings might not look that good. Instead of skipping to the end of the video to see the final result, make sure to watch everything because my questionable accent makes it funny and you might learn something about building. For this village we are going to create a specific style to fit the Cherry Blossom biome just like the other villages. Every time I talk about this biome I remember Asian countries like Japan, so we are going to make a Japanese village style. So the first thing that we need to do is to get inspiration because I don't live in Japan and I'm not used to this architecture. For that we can see some real life pictures or even some Minecraft buildings that the community developed. And with this strategy we can get a really good idea of the color palette, like for example this house, where we can see that the framing is almost the same color of the cherry locks. Also for the white wall we can use quartz that makes sense because villagers actually can trade quartz blocks. And finally the roof is always dark and I still didn't decide what is the best block for it. Another thing that I noticed is that the pink color is almost never used, so these new planks will be hard to implement on the buildings. But now it's time to start building and for that I have every structure that can spawn in a village on this flat world. I want it to be as similar as possible as a vanilla Minecraft village, so the buildings will be small but nice. To start I tried to find a cherry biome that was big enough to fit an entire village, but every single time the biome was extremely small. To fix this problem I created an entire world where the the only biome that exists was this one. The next step was to find a nice flat area to build the village. Alright, I think this will do. Damn, this is sick. And after that I just needed to clear the area before started building anything. Now that we got an empty area, we need to start analyzing the shape of any village. The first thing that I noticed, and it's pretty obvious, is that every village has a central area with a bell. So these are all the structures that can spawn with a bell and now we just need to create one with a Japanese flavor. The first thing that comes to my mind is a gate called Tori Gate and it's supposed to look something like this. So I just started building and I discovered that another block that looks amazing in this type of building is the mangrove wood. So I just finished it and I think this looks sick, this looks amazing. I actually can imagine a village around this. So we have a bell in the middle and I really enjoy this detail with the mangrove trapdoors. It's perfect. The next step is the houses and for that we need to analyze our structures. In this row we have all the houses without professions and that I will probably just make two of those. So let's make them. So the first house needs to be that small house that is very common in every village and don't forget that I want to make everything looking as vanilla as possible. So that's why some of the houses will not look that good because I'm trying to copy exactly their style. But I will do my best to make them a little detailed. And this, it is what I came up with. It looks vanilla and Japanese at the same time, that's perfect. I even made the inside and you can see from the windows that it looks very similar to the existing houses. The village is starting to get some shape and don't worry about the terrain because I will work on that later. The next house that we are going to build is a common one and it's that one with the shape of an L. To be honest, it's even quite nice on the inside. To make this house, I just copied the layout from the other house. I also filled the walls on the most simple way possible and I tried to make a roof that fitted the shape of the house with that Japanese style and this was a lot harder than I expected. I also made some unique details like this wall that looks amazing with the bamboo trapdoors. Another thing that I discovered is that instead of using glass in the windows it looks much better if I used bamboo trapdoors so I even replaced the windows on the other houses. And when I said the roof was hard to make I really mean it like I was extremely confused all the time and at the end I just added some details, I made the inside and this was the final result and you have to say this house is amazing I was not expecting it to turn out to be that good and we started with this and end up with that. 
So this is what the village looks like already and it looks good, but don't get me wrong, it feels empty. Actually, let me add here a window and now it looks better, but still empty. The next structure that we are going to make is this tower or, or church, I, I still don't know what it is. But this was an easy one, it's just a tower or, or a temple and it's a pretty common thing on this Japanese village. So I finished the roof, I made some details, I made the inside and it's a pretty cool one. And I'm actually not that happy with this build, but it's good enough. But let me give you a tour. So, you enter the tower, you have the potion stuff, and you can also go to the upper level and go to the windows to take a look to the empty, ugly village. Actually, it's not that bad. The next house that I wanted to work, it was the fisherman hut, and this one was a nice challenge. I actually discovered a really nice block, and since when this block exists, it's perfect for the floor of the houses. I actually even replaced the floor of the old houses to this new floor. I wanted the fisherman hut to be like an open area, that's why I make that big window. And the roof was obviously a challenge, but I was getting used to this style. I created a little lake, and I actually used the terrain to make the lake better. I made a little secondary roof, I placed some barrels, and now we finally have the fisherman it's a little build but it's actually quite nice and I want to work a little more on the lake. This is what the village looks like now and it's a little better but it's still empty. The next house that we are going to build is the butcher's house that have an animal pen included. I used mud to make it like more dirty I guess but let's be honest it was quite simple. The butcher's house needed to include a smoker and a working area so I did it. Also the walls were quite simple but I tried to make some unique details. The main entrance was a little different from the other builds because I wanted it to look like a shop and the roof was literally the same as the other wheels. But now there was a big problem. I wanted to make a chimney because of the smoker and literally any Japanese house have one. Just look at the pictures, there is not a single chimney. Maybe the buildings are so open, they don't need one. But I want one. But this is what I come up with and it's literally the smallest chimney I could do. Let me give you a tour. So you have an entrance like a shop and you have a really nice working area with a smoker and a table. The village was getting bigger, but it's not enough. I wanted to put some animals in the animal pen, so I searched what they consume and wait what the heck they eat foxes and that's a spider this is concerning and this is a squirrel with some mushrooms chill man those are not good for you so i placed foxes in the animal pen just kidding i placed pigs the next building that we are going to do is the smithing house and this was my favorite one i wanted it to be a tall building because the village was already full of small buildings so i did walls i did a small roof some details and this is what the tower looks like i also worked on the inside where we have an anvil and on the top level we have the chest and you are probably now asking where is the most important part of this building so on the left side of the building we have like the furnace area we also have a small roof and we also have a lava fountain why not the village was starting to get big but it feels like it doesn't belong there and now it's time for the farms and this is the part where i am a literally genius my first approach was this little farm with a mix of berries and bits i also decided to replace the dirt path with this block and it looks so much better the village but i was not happy with this farm so i had the genius idea of drawing things things with the crops. I also created this lamppost that looks so much better in this village. You can see that it has the effect of the light on it. I even added other banners and whoa, this is so much better. But now it was time for the terraforming and it was time to make the village feel like it belongs there. So I added a bunch of petals. I also added a bunch of trees because I want the particles to be everywhere in the village. And this was the final result or something similar because I wanted to add even more trees and make it feel more it belongs there. And the thing it was missing was the villagers obviously like that annoying noise but now the village looks like much more alive and like whoa this is this is amazing come on i'm in love with this village but it still need more trees we need more particles bruh even this temple feels like it belongs here like the villagers gave it so much life and now we have a bunch of beautiful trees and we have an iron golem that doesn't look aggressive at all i'm actually really happy with the final result yo what are you talking about what do you mean by revolution i forgot to tell you about but i also made this house that is like a big small house at the same time like imagine that you are just walking through a cherry blossom biome and you just find this i know it's not perfect but i really hope you enjoyed it and uh, I think you can give me more ideas, this is actually very fun to do. See you on the next video and bye!